Hey, book lovers! Welcome back to Meg's Literary Lounge, your go-to spot for diving deep into the heart of romance literature. Today, we're exploring a trope that's as deliciously deceptive as it is undeniably delightful, the fake dating trope. You know the drill. Two characters, for one reason or another, decide to pretend they're in a relationship. But what happens when pretend feelings start feeling all too real? From laugh-out-loud moments to heart-melting confessions, these books promise a roller coaster of emotions. So grab your favorite cozy blanket, a hot cup of tea, and let's dive into the world where love starts as a ruse, but ends up as the ultimate truth. Ready to find your next favorite book? Let's get started. Dr. Brianna Ortiz's life seems to be spiraling downward. With a pending divorce, her brother in dire need of a kidney donor, and her coveted promotion slipping away, things couldn't get much worse. To top it off, the new doctor, Jacob Maddox, is rubbing her the wrong way. But everything changes when Brianna receives a heartfelt letter from Jacob, revealing a side she never expected. As they exchange letters and share intimate lunch dates, Brianna discovers Jacob's endearing qualities, despite his initial impression. When Jacob offers to donate a kidney to save her brother's life, Brianna finds herself drawn to him in ways she never imagined. Can she resist the charm of this enigmatic doctor, especially when he calls in a favor she can't turn down? Danica Brown has her priorities straight. Career success, academic excellence, and the occasional fling to unwind. Love? She's been there, done that, and tossed the t-shirt. Romantic entanglements, regardless of gender, are more trouble than they're worth. So Danica sets her sights on finding the perfect friend with benefits, someone who understands the rules and excels in the bedroom. When brooding security guard Zafir Ansari saves Danica from a workplace mishap, it feels like fate is nudging them together. PhD student Danica and former rugby player Zaf seem destined for a steamy encounter. But before Danica can clarify their arrangement, a viral video of Zaf's heroic act turns them into an internet sensation. Hash da rugby. Now Zaf needs Danica to play along for the sake of his charity for children. Who could refuse to help kids, even if it means bending the truth a little? Danica's plan is straightforward. Pretend to be a couple in public while indulging in private. However, Zaf, despite his gruff exterior, is a hopeless romantic determined to chip away at Danica's cynicism. Yet beneath Zaf's charming facade lie his own insecurities, and breaking down the walls around his heart proves to be as challenging as tackling a rugby opponent. Suddenly, Danica's uncomplicated fling becomes as intricate as her doctoral thesis. Has her wish for simplicity backfired? Is her focus slipping? Or perhaps the universe is sending her a message she's yet to decipher. Harriet and Wynne were once the epitome of the perfect couple, seamlessly complementing each other like essential pairings, salt and pepper, honey and tea, lobster and rolls. However, for undisclosed reasons, they recently ended their relationship, keeping their breakup a secret even from their closest friends. As fate would have it, they now find themselves sharing the largest bedroom at their group's annual main cottage getaway, a tradition spanning a decade. This cherished week offers an escape from reality, filled with indulgent delights like cheese, wine, and seafood, along with the comforting camaraderie of their inner circle. But this year is different. With the cottage up for sale, it marks their final opportunity to revel in these cherished moments together. Refusing to shatter their friends' hearts, Harriet and Wynne pretend everything is fine, concealing their lingering desire for each other. Harriet portrays the dedicated surgical resident, avoiding conflict at all costs, while Wynne adopts his usual laid-back persona, hiding his inner turmoil. Their plan appears flawless, at least when viewed from a distance and through the haze of sunscreen-smeared sunglasses. After all the years of genuine love, how challenging could it be to feign happiness for just one week in front of those who know them best? Lovelight Farms, once a beacon of holiday cheer, now resembles a graveyard of trees, overrun by raccoons and plagued by disappearing shipments. Stella Bloom's cherished childhood haven has become a nightmare. Desperate to rescue the farm from financial ruin, Stella embarks on a daring plan. She enters a contest alongside Instagram sensation Evelyn St. James. With the promise of a hefty $100,000 prize and increased publicity, winning could mean salvation for Lovelight Farms. There's just one catch. Stella fibbed on her application, 
claiming she co-owns the farm with her non-existent boyfriend. Enter Stella's steadfast confidant, Luca Peters. What begins as a casual visit for hot chocolate soon transforms into a whirlwind adventure as Luca finds himself embroiled in Stella's scheme. Suddenly, he's not only the unexpected owner of a farm, but also masquerading as Stella's devoted beau. Yet amidst the charade, Luca realizes that pretending to date his best friend might just be the most unexpected and delightful Christmas gift he's ever received. Hallie Piper is on a mission to reinvent herself. Emerging from the depths of rock bottom, she's determined to embrace adulthood wholeheartedly. With a new apartment, a fresh haircut, and a revamped wardrobe, she's ready to take charge of her life. But when she delves into a dating app in search of her perfect match, she comes face to face with Jack, the very guy she made a swift exit from not too long ago. Despite their mutual agreement that they're not interested in each other, Jack and Hallie find themselves drawn together through the app. They embark on a unique partnership, supporting each other in their quest to find true love. Sharing their dating experiences via text, they often rendezvous for tacos after their respective dates, resulting in a surplus of shared meals. However, as their searches for love yield disappointing results, Jack and Hallie strike a wager to see who can find their soulmate first. Yet, when they agree to pose as a couple at a weekend wedding, their carefully constructed facade begins to unravel. As lines blur and emotions intensify, they struggle to resist the undeniable chemistry between them, questioning why they ever thought the other was a bad idea in the first place. Meet Bree Camden, hopelessly enamored with her best friend and renowned quarterback, Nathan Donaldson. While half of America swoons over him, Bree struggles to confess her feelings, fearing it could jeopardize their close bond. Determined to maintain their platonic friendship, Bree navigates the complexities of unrequited love. However, a tequila-fueled confession to a reporter leads to unexpected consequences. The world believes Bree and Nathan are meant to be together. Complicating matters further, they're contractually obligated to publicly date for three weeks leading up to the Super Bowl, a secret agreement they made. As they embark on their faux romance, Nathan's behavior blurs the lines between friendship and something more, leaving Bree to wrestle with her emotions. Can she endure three weeks of pretending without succumbing to the undeniable chemistry between them? And what happens when it appears Nathan desires a different outcome altogether? Kiki Banjo, known for her sharp wit and hidden warmth, finds herself in a precarious situation after a major blunder. As the host of the popular student radio show Brown Sugar and an expert in dodging relationships, she's dedicated to steering the women of the African-Caribbean society away from heartache and drama. However, when she publicly denounces Malachi Kareda, only to share a kiss with him moments later, her show faces imminent jeopardy. To salvage their reputations and futures, Kiki and Malachi concoct a scheme, a fake relationship. Determined to keep her emotions guarded, Kiki refuses to let Malachi breach her defenses, despite their undeniable chemistry. Yet, as they spend more time together, engaging in surprisingly enjoyable study sessions and sharing intimate conversations at diners, Kiki begins to question her preconceptions. For someone who has never dared to surrender her heart, Kiki faces a dilemma. Will she remain closed off, or will she allow herself to explore the possibility of something deeper with Malachi? Hannah Brooks may appear more suited to a classroom than a battlefield, but don't let her gentle demeanor fool you. She's an elite bodyguard with lethal skills. Her latest assignment? Protecting a Hollywood heartthrob from a relentless stalker. Jack Stapleton, the epitome of a Hollywood superstar, finds himself returning to his family's Texas ranch when his mother falls ill. Desperate to keep his stalker and the truth about his protection detail hidden from his family, Jack enlists Hannah to pose as his girlfriend. As Hannah reluctantly agrees to the charade, she realizes that shielding Jack from physical harm is the easy part. However, safeguarding her own heart proves to be a far greater challenge. As their facade deepens, Hannah finds herself falling for Jack against her better judgment. Protecting him may be her duty, but protecting her own heart may prove to be her toughest assignment yet. As the newest captain of the Devils, Chicago's NBA team, Ryan finds himself facing an unexpected complication. Indy Ivers, his sister's vivacious best friend, moves into his apartment. Despite her messy habits and undeniable allure, 
Ryan views her as nothing more than a distraction, especially in the midst of proving himself to the team's skeptical general manager. When confronted with doubts about his leadership abilities, Ryan devises a plan to showcase his approachability by feigning a romantic relationship with his outgoing roommate. However, the lines between reality and pretense quickly blur as their fake relationship begins to feel all too genuine. Despite his reluctance to embrace romance, Ryan can't deny the growing attraction he feels for Indy. Living with NBA star Ryan Shea, her best friend's brother, was never part of Indy's plans. Yet, when Ryan asks her to pose as his loving girlfriend to improve his image, she reluctantly agrees, hoping to alleviate tension at an upcoming wedding where her ex-boyfriend will be present. However, Indy soon realizes that their arrangement is not as one-sided as she initially thought. As she navigates the complexities of their faux romance, Indy finds herself drawn to Ryan's guarded heart. Despite her romantic nature, she grapples with the reality of their situation, questioning whether falling for her roommate was a mistake. As they share a roof and confront their feelings, both Ryan and Indy must confront their fears and insecurities, wondering if their unconventional living arrangement will lead to something more meaningful. Santiago Alatore thought one mistake ruined his career, turning him from a sought-after bachelor into a pariah. Hiding from the world, he finds his solitude interrupted when Chloe unexpectedly barges into his life. Their arrangement as fake partners seems like a simple solution to Santiago's problems, until their charade sparks genuine emotions within him. However, Santiago's own internal struggles threaten to derail any chance of claiming Chloe for himself. Chloe Carter's journey begins with a birthday wish, a bit of vodka, and an ancestry kit, leading her to discover her long-lost father in Italy. Yet, one impulsive decision lands her in a fake relationship she never wanted. As they navigate the complexities of their faux romance, Chloe finds herself drawn to Santiago, despite his deceitful facade. However, she soon learns that falling for someone with secrets comes with its own set of consequences. Hazel's plan for revenge against her awful ex takes an unexpected turn when she decides to fake date Rory Miller, her ex's rival and the top scorer in professional hockey. Despite his reputation as an arrogant flirt, Hazel discovers that beneath Rory's bad boy exterior lies a sweet, funny, and surprisingly protective man. As they continue their charade, Hazel finds herself drawn to Rory in ways she never anticipated. He introduces her to the world of skating, lavishes her with expensive gifts, and challenges her to break her own rules. Their fake relationship begins to blur the lines of reality, especially when Rory's kisses feel anything but fake. Now, Hazel is left questioning whether Rory's feelings for her were genuine all along, or if their entire relationship was just another act in his playbook. Annie Walker, content with her quiet life running a flower shop in Rome, Kentucky, embarks on a quest to find her ideal partner. However, the close-knit community leaves Annie with limited dating options, and a disheartening encounter with a date who deems her boring prompts her to reevaluate herself. Inspired by romance movies, Annie decides to embrace a more flirtatious and fun persona, seeking the help of Will Griffin, a sexy and tattooed bodyguard temporarily back in Rome. Will's return to town is met with a personal mission, to avoid entanglements with the locals, particularly Annie. However, when tasked with assisting Annie in her quest for love, Will reluctantly agrees, knowing that Annie deserves someone who appreciates her for who she is. Despite his reservations, Will finds himself drawn to Annie's genuine warmth and kindness. As they embark on practice dates and tutoring sessions, Annie discovers hidden depths beneath Will's stoic exterior. Their friendship deepens, blurring the lines between teacher and student. Amidst steamy encounters and unexpected emotions, Annie begins to question her definition of the perfect partner, realizing that perhaps authenticity is more important than perfection in matters of the heart. Farley Jones is a vibrant and uproariously funny stand-up comedian, poised for stardom. Despite her larger-than-life persona on stage, Farley harbors a secret crush on her older manager, Meyer. However, she's resigned herself to keeping her feelings hidden, valuing their close friendship and his crucial role in her career, too much to risk confessing her love. Meyer Harrigan, once a renowned stand-up star himself, left the spotlight behind to focus on raising his deaf daughter, Hazel. Farley has become an integral part of their lives, 
providing support and laughter since she entered their world three years ago. Despite his gruff demeanor and reluctance for public attention, Meyer is determined to help Farley achieve her dreams. When a major career opportunity arises, Farley and Meyer are thrust into a fake dating scenario to generate publicity. As they navigate the charade, their genuine feelings begin to surface, challenging their friendship and professional relationship. What started as a publicity stunt soon evolves into something much deeper as they confront the complexities of love and comedy in equal measure. And that wraps up our journey through the pages of heart-fluttering fake dating romances. If any of these stories have captured your heart, or if you've got a favorite fake dating romance that wasn't on our list, let's chat in the comments below. I'd love to hear your recommendations and thoughts. Don't forget to like this video if you found a new book to add to your TBR pile, and subscribe to Meg's Literary Lounge for more cozy book talks and romance recommendations. Until next time, keep turning those pages and falling in love with unforgettable stories. Happy reading, everyone!